Hey guys, Justin here. I'm in uh, Secret Harbor right now with the uh, at uh, Comet Bay Secondary College right here, Comet Bay College, which we just boarded from that stop right there, which is, needs to do a U-turn for this round five six three. Go back to Warnborough Station. From here, we loop Secret Harbor East, and we'll get back to Warnborough Station. We first go back up to Port Kennedy. After going to Port Kennedy, we're going to turn back into the uh, inerts instead of taking the main path, like the 561 and the 574. We're going to take the uh, inside path t closer to Warnborough Shopping Center and turn back into Warnborough Station. So, thank you so much, Perth Train Vlogger Zach, for this request here. Random generator asked me to film at the front, so here I am filming at the front. They're like, like literally no one get on, but <laughs> it's like already way past school hours, and but these two are normal routes that actually always terminates there, so that's why it's kind of weird. Okay, just took the five six one. Originally, I can technically actually just take the five six one and then use the same bus and do the five six three, but same bus, eh, awkward. Here comes another 563 on the other side here, which is 2991. Oh, I just saw 2991. What the hell? I literally just saw 2991, I think. Or is it a different bus? But there goes 563. No, it should be the, the different bus. 563. So, on board 2615 down here by Transdev. At least this bus is actually uh, not not bad one. It's uh, refurbished, so. Now there's also that terrible designs for the 574 deviation, which it starts from pa Mandra Baptist uh, College, but it just terminates at the, uh, the the Comet Bay College right there, which we just started. But the thing is, the app said it goes to Warnborough Station, which is so stupid. The app. Oh my gosh. Why the hell this uh why the hell this school bus is stopping right there at the bus stand? Seriously? Also at the start because the bus actually came in just on the dot for the time for the time so that's why she departed the bus just departs right away since I board so I didn't actually get ready on time so it ended off actually a very rushed start at the start there and hopefully now the uh, freaking headphones actually connected At least it's not a gas bus, which is already very happy, in my opinion, that we're not having gas. But oh, we're back out to the main path. This this loop is way faster than the 561 loop. This loop only takes five minutes. Back out to the main path, and we we'll take up to Port Kennedy. Which was just uh, this is Warmbur Sound Avenue right here. Turn right. I don't remember where's the spot that the 561 turns right. I think it's one ram spot at the front later on, I'll show you. 
which was the last journey, so hopefully you guys have watched that one already. More of these stupid spots here, where you need to look on both sides to cross over. Ooh, uh, why are there again so many messages on my other phone? Who is that? Uh, oh, it's Mark. Probably tell me something about Jindalope line. But I'm down here, like, in Warnbra, all the way down. Hopefully it doesn't affect the Mandra line train services later on. That's the spot right there just where we pass by that little uh, corner where the uh, 561 turns in. And this is just straight back up to Port Kennedy. This is the same path as the 563, but we're not going to... I mean, this is the same path as the 561 and the 574, but we're not going to be totally the whole path the same. Just this small section because it's the only path that actually goes up. And then since we hit Port Kennedy, we'll turn right into the uh, inner inner paths instead of taking Sound Avenue over here. This route was not changed at all after Lakeland Station opened, so that's why the only one that was changed is actually the 561. And of course, all of the new routes and also 558 and all of that stuff. But the route that goes down to Secret Harbor, that spot right there, the 561 was changed. It was originally going all the way to Rockingham, taking the exact same path as most of the routes before. But now it just shortened and terminated at Warmbra. While the 563 originally, it was also just terminating at Warmbra, so this route didn't change at all. I actually do really want to try out the new 584 with the new routings, the new routing, but I don't really want to go back down to Lakeland, so I'm not going to film that route again because uh, I filmed the old journey, the old route, and the Marcus filmed the new, new path, new part of the route, so you can just go and check that out. Made it to Port Kennedy here. That's how the uh, the signal thing goes. Just as it's just good at, and then as it goes back, like that. I right, made it to this stop, which uh, before there is five five eight. Well, I don't know why they don't take this thing. Maybe they need to take the 574 to go straight through Warmbur Sound Avenue. If they're just going to Warmbur Station, it doesn't matter which route. Gas bus on the outside, probably 574. Yep, 574, down to Lakeland Station, 2086. I hear a stop here at the shopping center. Turn bright very soon. Not taking the every single thing the same, so just a few spots which is the same. It's actually pretty fast right now, it's only 10 minutes.
Here's the spot return right. Here's the spot right here. Ooh, ah, that was a Moving the inside suburbs here. We're not taking the main path. Mm, Oi! That was a hard turn. Another bus coming down. That's the 563. Only 563 turns in here. Future bus coming in here. 2237 by Transdev here. So, this path only the 563, so that's why there are no other routes in here. I wonder whether they're going to bring back 562 because the number 562 has been renumbered to the Route 559 exactly the same and uh, now they're no longer 562 so I'm making actually a gap between 561 and 563 here Fuck that lady, dude. Seriously, just finished vaping right before boarding the the bus. Blow out, blew out her last vape, and then immediately board the bus. Oh my gosh, seriously. Wait, th does this trip need to deviate? I hope not, because you know on the channel I never film deviations. Okay, no, it looks like it's a it's a real path here. Because in the channel for bus journeys here, I, I will be filming the, uh, the uh, most normal version of the route that the route is going to take. So if, for example, like for this route, most of the time you're just doing a normal service, then we of course we'll do the normal service. If the route actually that I'm filming, that is actually like technically like 90% of the trips on the whole day will be deviating trips, then of course we'll just film the deviating trips because it's, uh, it's regarded as a normal normal situation because like every single trip is deviating like the 5A6 This is a this is a deep one. What is this? Oh my gosh! Right after the roundabout, you need to turn right. What? <laughs> what is this? Right after that very deep roundabout, you need to like very big turn for that roundabout. It's a big one, and suddenly turn right after the freaking roundabout. So we'll basically take this whole path inside here until Warnborough Station. We're not going to actually go back to the main path. Now 563 is really bad, honestly. The uh, the uh, the frequency. 
as usual of the ramps down here, one hour per bus, please. Except the 574, very frequent 574. Not like very frequent, but it's just like the normal suburb, suburb route frequency, 15 minutes on weekdays and 30 minutes on weekends. No, but actually technically 563 has more service than the 561, yeah. But I'm not so sure whether these two routes have service on weekends. That's the one I don't know, but we'll see. Right, continue this path in here. Someone's boarding here. and take a look at what Mark told me earlier on. I didn't read it yet. There are some disruptions for doing the line unfortunately shut closing off a very big section according to mark okay oh my gosh service alerts during the little bit line services disruption start immediately Still, no rouse is gonna actually be able to compare with the freaking 160 <laughs> with all of the turns that stupid 160 oh my gosh that stupid 160 now the 563 gas bus here 2096 like one of the last few gas buses for trans dev because for the 21 series is already starting with the future buses some of the future buses and also some of the crappy b7s I thought we were going to take close to uh, the Warmberg Shopping Centre. Apparently we're not even actually stopping at anything related to that.
The Z563 is actually pretty decent during this time of period for the rush hour sections. I already see like three of them on the other side, so it's not like very good. It's like 20 minutes per bus or something like that. And hopefully later on when I go back to Warren Brothers, trains won't get affected for now. I mean, I'm on Mandra line, I'm not really on June Love line, so that's fine. Made it up here. Is this the, the, the spot that we're gonna go into Warmbra station? Is this go right? So, looks like it is. Yes, it is. This is the spot we're gonna go back up to Warmbra station, turn right here. This is way faster than the freaking 2561 bus. <laughs> Maybe it's just because too many people stop, board, boarded, and uh, get off for the 561 journey. This one, like, literally, no one get off. Some of them got off, of course, but not like a lot and this is the spot that's always the worst because you need to take a look on both sides it's very difficult to actually have no cars on both sides of the road at the same time it's literally impossible so that's why they give you a little bit of a layover bay right here to actually let you stop here and then you're gonna keep going from here it's basically what am i actually doing from here station now they're shut down tonight for the Mandra to Workingham but <laughs> it's the 909 of course but they need to stop extra station now at Lakelands with the 909 and I also saw the last service that from Mandra there is actually one service today at night from Mandra all the way to Perth <laughs> yes one service all the way from Mandra to Perth the, for real Perth this time not Elizabeth Key last time it was Elizabeth Key this time it was Perth and in the app says it will take two hours and four minutes <laughs> that was ridiculous it just missed the red light we're gonna cut this out Right, last turn into Warnborough Station. Terminating. Another gas bus, 567, to, uh, to uh, Baldivis here. But now, Baldivis is actually a, uh, a suburb that's actually getting ready to. This is the brand new route right here, 569, that goes to Baldivis. Because Baldivis is actually a uh, suburb that's actually getting opened up, so that's why there are like six routes here going to Baldivis. Like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, there's six routes here go to Baldivis, which is from the 564 to the 569. And here's the 557, which is the same thing, and also the 558 at the back, which is the uh, changed version, which is only goes from here to Rockingham. And made it to Wombra Station. Looks like she's gonna do something else now. I'm just gonna get off and end the video. Well, 558, right away, there's one just left, and there's a meaty there. There's a meaty there. They're gonna start, oh, they're out of 558, going back to Rockingham. There's 119 right there for the meaty, going to 56 something. Probably about divers. Nope, it's the 561. Wow, complete crap. Here's the 2615, change to 558. We're just gonna go to Rockingham Station. So, which basically, I, <laughs> which basically, she's she's she, she, she just doing the old five five eight, kind of the old five five eight, because there are services from there. No, not the same path, but it's pretty similar. So, there's five six four going to Baldivis. Like I said, Baldivis is a brand new suburb that's getting opened up. There are six routes here go to Baldivis, which is from five six four to five six nine. All those routes, and uh, here is the five five eight for our bus 563 just terminated hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe click the bell so that you can get notifications where it was a little scary at the end at that little junction there where i tell you guys you need to look at both sides before you can go the driver acted the driver she actually looked at me and smiled that's actually pretty scary there 
<laughs> but she's smiling, so I'm not that scared. But <laughs> like, I, I was talking, I didn't talk trash on her driving, but I did talk a little loud. So I was like, click on this video up top. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.